me start it so it is having initially some 400 grams of water at 5 degree celsius to this 200 grams of water will be added and i am going to add the ice ice at 10 degree celsius then 400 gram of ice at minus 6 this will be added to this container then we'll see what will happen <coughs> uh, shall we do one thing first we will there'll be exchange of heat between these two then 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 again uh, how, how to manage this they'll add simultaneously so first will they be exchange of heat between these two then they'll come to some equilibrium then again no simultaneous load up in this 400 gram will interact with this 200 this 400 gram of water which is then kilometer will interact with this this will interact with it there'll be interaction between uh, this content and this one this content this one this content this one all three will interact simultaneously here Th there's a very important thing so therefore we'll what is the final temperature of the contents of calorimeter? Now we'll see that uh, final temperature, let it be zero, we'll assume. Then how much of uh, what is the energy re released that will calculate? Q naught, we don't know. Just we are cross verifying things. 200 gram of water, specific heat is 1, 10 minus 0. Then 400 gram specific heat of what is 1 5 minus 0 2000 4 5 jar 20 this is also 2000 so 4000 calories is what available okay for temperature now the temperature it has become the, this energy is available so this energy now will be sufficient for the own ice to melt <coughs> for all ice to melt we'll see it for all ice to melt now, now again again I'll start with Q1 this is this should be equal to this Q0 will write it 400 gram of ice specific heat of ice is 1 final temperature uh, I'm, I'm assuming this to be 0 and minus 60 I, I'm just cross verifying things nothing is there or we'll, we'll do one thing Q, Q, Q1 will write it so this will be 200 into 60 12,000 calories is what needed for the temperature of the ice to make it from 0 <coughs> minus 60 to 0 but how much is available only 4000 so what do I expect I think the whole ice melting not possible first of all the temperature of ice 0 itself will not become no so what is the possibility now what do you expect the temperature should be less than less than zero should be negative how to calculate that negative temperature we have to verify so first actually what you do is like a uh, this 600 gram now 600 gram of water is there at zero degree that 600 gram now will freeze will become ice some energy will be available now we have 600 grams of ice at zero degrees and 400 grams of ice at minus 60 then again let it come to one common temperature again further the energy will be released here now there will be exchange of that and they have to come to an equilibrium so this is all a cross check here now 
so no question of this ice melting instead what happen the water will freeze hope are you getting no no we have to come back and we have to solve this problem so already q not is there so what we do is yeah we'll make it here this is 200 g at 10 degrees celsius 5 degrees so they will combine it will become 600 g at 0 degrees celsius so then what is energy released uh, i have to bring energy no the blocks are only to make you understand no no here some energy is left that is q not will say then again this will get freeze water water See, everyone does this very easy, very easy to do now in exam in the tenth situation within three minutes. Solving this, I think, really challenging. Huh? Some again energy will be so. I'll, I'll, I'll do one thing. I'll, I'll take this as Q one. This is some. It'll be, yeah. Some more. So, how to calculate Q two? Q two should. Be equal to 600 gram into LF. Latent heat of fusion is 80, hmm. Again, look at this. Forty thousand calories are there, but how much we needed for the twelve thousand is sufficient. Twelve thousand, forty-eight thousand plus you add this one. Fifty-two thousand is available. So what to do now? I think somewhere we are in paradox, no? So all all water should freeze. Some amount of water only should freeze here, not complete. Are you getting see like a? I'm telling you this one. Uh, okay, I saw this last year. Okay, I'm make, making the but first time no really. Ha, I had to verify all these things. Then I'm able to reach the answer. So the complete water need not to freeze. Only a part of water will freeze here. So from here. What do we get? Is like a a complete. So now already four thousand calories is available. Another twelve thousand is there. To get that twelve thousand calories, only some part of it will become ice. Okay, so twelve thousand is there. To get that twelve thousand calories. How to calculate that M1 and M2 is very important. So how much Q2 should be? Okay, th th this is something ruled out. No, this I'll take it out. Now we have to proceed here. No, four thousand. This is available already. Another twelve thousand is needed. Okay, this this value is twelve thousand. We'll write it. i think um, another 8000 sorry 
another 8000 only this is some small q2 no 8000 is needed for the temperature of highest from from minus 60 to become zero we need this much of energy already 4000 is available so another 8000 is available so how much of water should freeze only which will generate 8000 calories so we have 600 grams of water so 8000 come for this one 8000 is equal to some m1 m2 into lf 8000 m2 this is 80 so one zero hundred grams of water freezes here so what will be left over m1 m1 will be 500 grams m2 will be 100 grams so what is the final content the final content shall we add up it will be 0 degree celsius so how much of water 500 grams of water and 500 grams of ice Let, let me show in this way this is the 500 grams water 500 grams ice <coughs> just only cross checking has to be done you have to analyze here nothing is there the formulas are only q equal to ms delta t and q equal to mlv or mlf Can make observation as slide on. Two three problems of this kind will be sufficient. Uh, you'll get a basic idea. Then you have to proceed further to the next concept. Every day, just pick up some twenty best problems from different different topics. Start thinking. Next again on Tuesday, again on Wednesday, again on Thursday, Friday. So, in all five days, some hundred problems you have thought, and also you revise concept. <coughs> 